Sorry, you cannot film in Hawaii anymore without me thinking of... We have to go back! Hello and welcome to Will I Like It? I am CP. Today we're covering Aloha. Aloha is written and directed by Cameron Crowe and stars Bradley Cooper, Emma Stone, and Rachel McAdam. Aloha is about Bradley Cooper's character, Brian, who is a defense contractor returning to Hawaii, where he has quite a history, to team up with Emma Stone, whose character's name is Allison Ng, N-G, in an effort to stop a rocket from launching. A bit of issue that plays into the story is Brian's ex is played by Rachel McAdam, who still lives in Hawaii, and they have some interactions that make his stay a bit complicated. So, who would like it? Uh, first off, I would say Cameron Crowe fans should probably uh, want to check this out just to, to fill their checklist of his films. Uh, singles, Say Anything, Jerry Maguire, Almost Famous. You certainly at least owe it to yourself to just throw this in there just to judge against the others. It certainly lives in the Elizabethtown neighborhood, though. People who are looking for a bit more than boy meets girl, boy has ex-girlfriend, boy tries to pick between the two girls, may be pleasantly surprised that there's a couple of things going on here more than just a typical romantic comedy. There are numerous events in the film like a, a blessing that is needed for a checkpoint that makes the film feel Hawaii. Otherwise, I don't think Hawaii is really the character that Cameron Crowe is trying to make it. Even if you are just looking for a romantic comedy, considering that there's not really much else out there right now, this would certainly serve just that purpose, but there's a bit more to this film than just a romantic comedy, or as far as the, the triangle is concerned. Uh, if you if you want to see a romantic comedy and you'd like to go to the theater soon, this is certainly uh, by default. I think it's your choice. Uh, but if you're in no rush, then by all means, get as much information on the film as you can uh, and lower the risk of your investment. Who wouldn't like it? Well, people who hear the name Cameron Crowe probably have a certain set of expectations already, and uh, they're pretty high. Uh, Jerry Maguire, almost famous. They're they're pretty big. Uh, singles, say anything. Those are those are big romantic movies that are that are bigger than that. This film is more than a romantic film, but it's not those films. People need to remember he's also made Elizabeth Town. Uh, we bought a zoo. This film is more of that. I mean, they're all made close to each other, so he's he's onto something different, and he's doing something different now. Whether or not you like it, that is up to you. People who don't like their films too all over the place may have a bit of an issue with this, as it appears to be edited a bit tight. Uh, it appears as if they edited for time or something. There's there's a bunch of things that are trying to be tackled and it appears as if they're trying to squeeze it into a certain amount of time. Don't get me wrong though, there is certainly some Cameron Crowe-esque dialogue, some Cameron Crowe-esque moments. It's just a bit disheveled seeming. There are just, there's just a lot of distinctive choices made with the editing. It'd be nice to see if there's some sort of director's cut of the film, and at least that would explain it. Comparable to the way Almost Famous was, was a good movie by itself, but the director's cut made it, in my opinion, a, a masterpiece. But I apologize for giving you my opinion. I feel like he spent extra time on things, and they just kind of got cut. And so in the final draft of the film, uh, they just seem like like bizarre instances where maybe if we got the whole picture, it may make a little bit more of sense. Please stop it now if you don't want my opinion. Did I like it? Uh, yes. No. I don't know. Uh, there's some there's some stuff there. Like I said, I'd really like to know if there's more. Uh, you know, if there's another hour and a half, and even if it's just, and 
a long, super long movie, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I sat through Boyhood and wasn't impressed. So if, if he has something along the lines of close to three hours that he had to trim down for this, I, I'd, by all means, I'd like to give it a shot. Because there's stuff, there's certainly stuff here that there's potential, there's, there's stuff that feels vintage Cameron Crowe, uh, but it is, it is a bit over the, all over the place. I don't know, it, it feels like, you know, a movie where there are certain parts where you're like, yeah, the, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. And then it, there's other parts where you're like, can we change the channel? Can we go to a different movie? What's going on? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I need to, this, I, I really feel like this is a movie that until we find out about more footage, if there's more footage, deleted scenes, what have you. Uh, I really am cautiously giving this film a eh, score. So check back when I get the Blu-ray. Otherwise, guys, please comment, like, all that jazz. Let me know what's going on. You like it, you don't like it. What do you want to see me do? You want me to dance like a bear? <laughs> For will I like it, I'm CP. <laughs>